Insurance companies seem to hold the reins when it comes to our health care, but you have more power than you think. Joining now is attorney Alexis Rosenberg, who specializes in health care law and insurance disputes. Alexis, welcome to Bloom. Thank you for having me. Well, I think a lot of people are going to love this because so many times, myself included, you know, you get con saddled with thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of dollars of medical bills and you, and you think you're covered. So what do we need to know when it comes to taking control of our health care insurance? Well, I think the thing that you really need to realize is that the insurance policy is a contract, just like your gem membership or if you go and buy a car. So it does vary. So I find that it falls into when they deny it two different categories. One is it's excluded under the policy and in that case it will be listed or two it's just not been documented correctly. So I think the first stage is to really get a hold of that insurance policy and unfortunately most of us just throw it in the trash or, <laughs> don't, or throw it in a corner. So you can call them and you can you know, ask them for the policy and some of them have portals. So that's the very first step is getting a hold of that policy and seeing and seeing what it says. So for example, like uh, my one of my older daughters, she's in college and she went to the doctor and then her doctor who was in her insurance mm -hmm. plan then she was referred to another doctor. And then somewhere along the way, the insurance company's like, this isn't medically necessary. And then mm -hmm. we were saddled with thousands of dollars worth of bills. I didn't realize that there's many times an appeals process mm -hmm. that you can do. So yeah, the first thing that I would do in that case is call up the doctor because it could be that they didn't send, they either didn't document the file, but we don't want to throw our doctors under the bus. So it could be they just didn't get the documentation over to the insurance company. So that would be the first step is having that open communication. But I would definitely look at that policy because there's an administrative appeals and each one is different based on that insurance contract. And you want to make sure you didn't blow any of those deadlines and you want to make sure that the information is getting over to them in a timely manner. And what are some reasons that claims are denied? Um, it could be as simple as the you have an HMO and they didn't the you know they didn't get the referral or it could be more complicated that it's there's not proof of medical necessity because let's say there's multiple doctors and the doctor that is submitting the claim for the procedure isn't the doctor that really is substantiated why you need necessarily that procedural that procedure done. So you know uh, you mentioned that you know every insurance po policy is basically mm -hmm. a contract and you know a lot of them are with privately held insurance companies but what about something like Obamacare and the Affordable Health Care Act? Same thing? Well, Obamacare is the same thing. The only difference is it does give you some additional protections like pre-existing and those sort of things. But the process itself, if it's been denied, is going to be the same process. You still need that documentation. You would still need to follow, follow the administrative process or appeal. That'll be the same. It's just that it affords, affords you additional protection. So I, I was really fascinated in this because I'm thinking, gosh, I probably could have saved a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money had I turn to somebody like yourself like at what point do you step in and be, are in your like enough is enough and then you go after the insurance companies well the administrative process has to be exhausted for us to go into court but usually I step in pretty early and what happens is I'll advise the potential client and say try doing this first a lot of times it's resolved at that point it's usually those really large bills that that will have to go through the process together and then potentially file suit but the smaller ones Ones, with my advice, generally they are able to get it paid. Now, do you think that uh, people are aware that they have more power than they think? No, I don't. I think that people are just so frustrated with the whole system and not understanding how it works. I mean, they think they took out this insurance. They generally paid huge premiums. Sure. And now they went to the doctor. They're thinking the doctor's bill is going to be paid, and they're left with this bill. And a lot of times, especially with the smaller ones, they just pay it because people don't want the frustration. Yeah, and to navigate these systems mm -hmm. that are very complicated. Exactly. exactly. Um, we have just under a minute left. Any advice for folks that are watching today? I think these kinds of issues have touched all of us. Yes. I mean, I definitely think that you need to um, fight it, have an open communication and dialogue with your doctor because they want to get paid. Mm -hmm. So have an open communication, see if they can help you get the documents over. But find out, look at those explanation of benefits, why are they denying it, and take a very proactive and get the documents and get them to the insurance company yourself. Hey, thank you so much. I know you are, have several offices, one down in Sarasota. We appreciate you driving up and joining us here on. 
Bloom. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And to find out more about Rosenberg Law, head to WFLA.com slash Bloom. And we'll be back with more Bloom right after this, so don't go away.